Your mind sorting alphabetically and not chronologically in Power Pivot based pivot tables or in Power BI, and you don't like that? But you're in luck. In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to sort months chronologically, I'm also going to show you why this is probably one of the best features of the product. That's right, it's not a bug. Now, I get asked this question again and again, and I get it. I know where the frustration is coming from, right? Because if you create, so let's take this and let's insert a pivot table, right? Let's put it on this worksheet because that's where it belongs somewhere over there and I say just bring in month and there they are they're sorted exactly as they should be right in my opinion why is that well let me explain this so if you create a pivot table in Excel what Excel will look at is it will go behind the scenes in your settings so in your options advanced and it will look at your custom lists and see this and this, this is the reason why Excel sorts them the way you, know, you expect him to. He doesn't know about chronological orders or anything like that. The only thing he knows is there are custom lists in Excel. And he knows that you can sort, if you want to, you can sort. It's buried underneath everything, but you can sort by any of these custom lists and that's exactly what Excel does right here so those months get sorted chronologically but now when you create a power pivot based pivot table or if you're doing power bi right it's the same data model behind it the same engine that's where things get kind of tricky now that's where this is the sorting that you get it's alphabetical it's as if you know, there are no custom lists, and indeed there are not, right? Even if in Power Pivots one might say, well, it's still Excel, why aren't there? In Power BI, there are no custom lists. But this is actually a feature. And let me show you first, how do you do this? Well, the only thing you need to do is you need to go to your data model. So you go to your data model. That's where you have your tables. This is where you find your date table or your calendar table or you might also think about it like this if you only have the one table right the fact table you need to have two columns you need to have your month name and you need to have your month number those two columns need to be present why because this is what you do you take your month name column and what you say is i want you to sort that by another column so when you're sorting month names, I want you to look at month names as if they are month numbers. You go, okay. Now, nothing in particular happens over here. Now the magic happens when we go back to Excel. See how that changed? And now these will get sorted exactly the way you need them to. Okay, and now we get to the feature part. I want you to think about every pivot table you've ever created that did not want to sort itself the way you need it to. Now, we can talk about analysis of competition where you want your product to be on top and your competitors and products listed below, maybe in a certain order. Or think about your stores, think about your regions, how you always need them to be sorted in a certain order. And this is how you achieve that. And now maybe the greatest example would be think about your charts sometimes in your charts you want to highlight something let's say you highlight the third column now by highlighting the third column you may need to fix that position right you need that category to always be third so you can highlight it and this is what helps you so sorting by column now let's look at a, an example here so Let's look at the stores table. So we're going to add this stores table to our data model. As we add it, it looks kind of like this. So we add the stores table and we also connect it to the model. So we connect it to the fact table. Now we have the stores table in there. So I'm just going to show you the data looks like this, right? And if I look at it in Excel, 
And if I look at the pivot table it's created and take the months out and bring in our store name, you can see that it's sorted them alphabetically. We're not shocked by this, but now we have a secret weapon. Now we can go, okay, let's get back to the power pivot and let's say, well, this should be sorted by another column. It should be sorted by store ID. Let's go. Again, nothing extra happens over here, but if we go back to Excel, this is where the magic happens. And now the general store will always be number one. Okay, wasn't that just... So thanks for sticking out. And since you came this far, I'll let you off with a little bonus. Here's everything that went wrong during the production of this video. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Your month sorting chronologically and not... It's the other way around. A your month sorting chronologically... Power pivot based, power pivot based, power pivot based pivot tables. So let's, let's, for example, let's months get sorted. So those months get sorted. Yeah. So those months get sorted chronologically.